What's up, YouTube family? I've been asking myself a question recently, ever since December 2015, actually. And that question is, what is my favorite Star Wars movie? Is it still The Empire Strikes Back? Is it now The Force Awakens? I don't know. I don't have an answer for that, but at least we can play Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens with Empire Strikes Back characters with this pre-order bonus character pack. You could pre-order the game from anywhere and you get this character pack. And it is pretty cool. All the minifigures look awesome, but the highlight is definitely the 1978 Joe Johnston designed Boba Fett prototype in minifigure form, of course. And he is in rare form because he looks sweet as heck. He's also got what looks to be a double E 3, similar to his Star Wars Battlefront counterpart of Fires in Three Round Bursts. And it's really awesome. He's also got a jetpack that allows him to reach places many figures normally can't reach, even bypassing buildable items that help you reach those places. And of course, he's a bounty hunter, so he can accept bounty hunter missions. He can, he can bypass toxic areas and also toss thermal detonators. A lot of thermal detonators. <laughs> There's a lot of characters in this game, something like 230 some odd minifigures that you can collect. So I'm being a little presumptuous here by saying that Boba Fett prototype is my favorite minifigure in this game. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that because I've unlocked like nothing, uh, not even a fourth, not even close. We've also got Bosk, another bounty hunter. So of course he can accept bounty hunter missions, he can toss thermal detonators, but the really interesting thing here is he's got a Relby V10 blaster rifle. And like the Relby V10 in Battlefront, it's it's actually a blaster rifle. It's not a grenade launcher like most Relby V10s that Bosk uses in the novels or in uh, TV shows. And it's pretty sweet. He can also destroy silver Lego objects. And all in all, he looks really cool. He's also got a really cool... Uh, hunched stance, unlike Boba Fett's proud stance. And we've got Dengar, who we saw in the Bespin DLC for Star Wars Battlefront. However, Dengar doesn't have a DLT-19 here instead. Interestingly enough, he has a, a pulse cannon, which is a bit of a rapid fire pulse cannon. And it looks cool. It does a really good job taking care of business. It can take a minifigure down in about one shot. He can also grapple Lego plugs. And he's a bounty hunter, so he can do bounty hunter stuff. There's not a lot to say about Lobot the Android, however. Androids, uh, there's a lot of them in Cloud City, and it looks like he's wielding an A280C blaster rifle. It operates like a standard Lego blaster rifle, however, nothing special about it. And as far as I can tell, he can't actually do anything except for shooting Lego targets. But his minifigure does look nice. And of course, we've got Han Solo and Luke Skywalker in their Hoth uniforms, and they are looking very snazzy. I gotta say, these are some of the best looking minifigures in the game as far as accuracy and just how fun they look. Obviously, prototype Boba Fett, I'm sorry, he, he takes the cake. Luke Skywalker, of course, can use agility objects. He can bypass cold areas, so can Han, because, you know, they're in cold weather gear. Luke can climb Lego walls, and Han can grapple Lego plugs and accept resistance missions. I'm assuming Luke can accept those resistance missions as well. There's also something really cool about Luke is that he's got a Graflex lightsaber. Check that out! Now, if you guys are fans of Legos, you probably know that Lego hasn't made an actual Graflex lightsaber yet. In fact, this is the only Graflex Lego lightsaber I've seen that's official. I've seen custom ones, but this is actually really cool. It's got the, the grips and everything, and for some reason, when he holsters it, it, it shrinks. And of course, we have Princess Leia, and she is that. Look at that. Look at that beautiful outfit. She looks like she knows what she's doing, and she does, because she can command troopers, she can grapple Lego plugs, and bypass cold areas, of course. And then there's the Ugnaught, which is a very short race. They operate the carbonite freezing chambers in Cloud City, and he can access hatches because he's very short, so you can take him along instead of an Ewok. But I would take an Ewok, because they're cute. <laughs> anyway, this has been... The Empire Strikes Back character pack, and that's one of my favorite Star Wars movies of all time, so I just thought I'd share some of these awesome looking minifigures, but if you guys enjoyed this video, or if you want to see more LEGO Star Wars, or just Star Wars in general, or LEGO in general, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more live streams and videos in the future, but until next time, 
May the Force be with you. Always. And the Force of the Brick, of course. Not just the Force of Jet... I don't, I don't know. The, the Brick Force? May, may the Lego be with you. That's... You know, actually, yes. May the Lego be with you.